Joining us now is our local family doctor, Dr. Alexa. Dr. Alexa, we know some and perhaps many COVID-19 cases are not being reported due to at-home testing. So what's the importance of reporting a positive result? There's really two benefits to reporting your positive at-home COVID test results. Um, the first is at sort of the public health or population level. Um, you know, what we're seeing is obviously underreporting, and if folks are reporting their at-home tests, we'll get a more accurate, accurate measurement and assessment of actual COVID numbers, cases, um, and this can inform policy decisions, this can inform, you know, funding that states receive um, to help with uh, fighting the COVID pandemic. But perhaps more importantly to you as an individual, I encourage everybody to report their positive test to their physician. And the reason for this is that sometimes you need some help interpreting those test results and figuring out what sort of steps to take next. Um, it also can, you know, your physician can help you figure out if you're eligible for any of the therapies that have been developed to uh, treat and support you through a COVID infection. So again, the takeaway is that there are two benefits, a public health benefit, but then also a personal individual benefit. So you would report this to your family doctor and, and let him or her know about what happened. That is exactly right. That is exactly right. And it's helpful to be linked into your family physician's office and healthcare system in that way as well. Okay, well, as you know, this is a stressful time, especially for teenagers, young folks. How can parents help teens navigate and relieve stress? Stress is certainly a huge problem for everyone right now. Um, I think Parents can help in many ways, but perhaps two of the most important ways is number one, just be there for your child, be a listening ear, pay attention to how your child is doing. Uh, you know your child best and can be the first to figure out if their behavior is changing, if they seem withdrawn or they're having trouble managing stress. But the second way that parents can help their children is by modeling good behavior. And what I mean by that is uh, teens, adolescents, even young children benefit from watching their family members engage in behaviors that keep them healthy. So as an example, making nutritious food choices, engaging in physical activity, and that doesn't have to be running a marathon, that could be going for a walk. Um, also getting enough rest and sleep and uh, really just taking care of your body um, that can really set a good example for your child and help them cultivate behaviors of their own. And staying on this topic of stress, even before this interview, you mentioned that you're seeing more of your patients expressing issues with body aches and pain, but this actually can be stress related. Tell us more about that. Yeah, that's absolutely right. You know, there are a lot of reasons why people might have aches and pains and, and headaches and things like that. But one very common reason is stress. And I think sometimes folks don't make that association. They don't realize the way in which stress can manifest in the body. Um, so some signs to look out for are headaches, stomach aches, muscle aches, or, or even joint pains, and of course, fatigue. Um, you know, so again, if, if you're experiencing these things, it's always a good idea to speak with your physician. But I also encourage folks to be open to the suggestion that it could be related to stress. And again, taking care of yourself in the ways that I mentioned earlier, all those sort of behaviors around wellness can really help reduce that bodily stress response. Mm, definitely want to stay on top of these things. Dr. Alexa, thank you again for joining us. Appreciate your insight. Thank you. And remember, you can submit your questions for Dr. Alexa on abc11.com slash Dr. Alexa.